Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport and another attempt at predicting the Formula 1 grid in over a year's time. Presuming that the same 10 teams will be on the grid and not out of business by then. I learned a good lesson last year. No one is safe. Sergio Perez was contracted till 2023 with Racing Point and he was sacked before 2020 was even close to being finished. So here are my guesses for the 2022 Formula 1 grid. Some are pretty outlandish, but it's more fun that way. So with that said, sit back, relax, and let's begin. Welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Williams. I think by 2022 George Russell will finally be let free from his little bird cage of back markers and no points scoring and move on to the monolithic Mercedes team, so there will need to be a replacement. So how about a really bad pay driver? Honestly I don't see Dan Tictum or Jamie Chadwick getting the drive soon, instead it could go to Israeli Roy Nassani, a driver who has accomplished little but has a lot of money and is a Williams test driver. He has a couple of points finishes in Formula 2, but honestly, even at Formula 3 levels, has never been very competitive. But if he can pay, Williams will take the bait. He'll be joined by Nicholas Latifi, who will do enough to secure a third year and hopefully will start to score points with the team. All in all, I think a hard future for Williams. They should probably stick with Jack Aitken, but very little makes sense nowadays. Haas. Whilst I think Mick Schumacher will find it hard to impress in a pretty dreadful Haas team, he will do enough and has enough support from Ferrari to spare him from the axe. I don't feel the same way for Nikita Mazapan. I think he will struggle and will be a one season kind of guy, like Sergei Sorotkin. Ready to replace him will be a long time Haas employee in Pietro Fittipaldi, who did okay in his two outings for Haas in 2020. Not spectacular, but he survived. Not to mention it would be a really cool team with both a Schumacher and a Fittipaldi racing in the same team. That being said, longtime Formula 2 driver Luis Delatraz is also a Haas employee and is good enough to take a chance on and if Nikita Mazepin brings in enough money they may keep him. I'm going for an outside bet but I do think Haas's 2022 lineup will be Mick Schumacher and Pietro Fittipaldi. Alfa Romeo I think it is clear that Kimi Raikkonen will never retire from Formula 1. He made his debut all the way back in 2001 and 20 years and 332 races later he is still alive and kicking. I don't think Antonio Giovinazzi will be given another chance after 2021. He has improved but is still capable of mistakes and I think he will eventually get cut for someone else. Someone like Robert Schwartzman. The 2019 Formula 3 champion is a Ferrari backed driver and a good one who is getting a second year with Prima in Formula 2 in 2021. He got four wins in 2020 and a decent enough fourth place finish. So if Nikita Mazepin does survive, it will be the first time two Russians have been on a Formula 1 grid at the same time. Alfa Tori. I don't see big changes coming for Alfa Tori for 2022. They probably will stick with Pierre Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda. Tsunoda needs time to get to grips with Formula 1. He was impressive in Formula 2 in 2020, he took 3 wins on the way to 3rd place, so there is definitely something there. Apparently Gasly has issues with Helmut Marco, but he is a race winner now, and constantly puts in good performances for the team and they'd be fools to lose him, so no changes at Alfa Tori in 2022. Alpine The new Alpine branded team sees the return of Formula 1 legend Fernando Alonso. Technically this is the third time Alonso has joined the Renault back team but the first since 2009. No matter what happens, whether he wins a championship or slams into a tree at every track, even the ones without trees, Fernando Alonso will be on the grid with Alpine in 2022. Esteban Ocon I'm not so sure. He didn't quite look like the driver from 2018 with Force India Racing Point. If he struggles in 2021 there are a couple of young drivers who could replace him. Christian Lungard is one, who got a couple of wins in Formula 2 in 2020, but I think the seat will be taken by the first ever Chinese Formula 1 driver, Guan Yu Zhou. He's getting better every year, 2021 will be his third year in Formula 2. He took his first win last year and I think he's going to have an even better campaign this time. He will take the Alpine seat alongside Alonso in 2022. 
Aston Martin. I don't think there'll be changes at Aston Martin in 2022. Sebastian Vettel is successful enough in Formula 1 to be able to secure a multi-year contract and, unless he's really bad, won't get sacked like Perez did. And likewise, unless he starts turning up to races drunk or spontaneously combusts, Lance Stroll probably won't get kicked out of a team run by his dad. Although, to make it clear, I think Lance Stroll has improved. He did a good job last year. He deserves to be there. Daddy's still paying the bills though, isn't he? McLaren. Again, McLaren won't make any changes. They have two exciting drivers and they seem confident of challenging up at the front. Daniel Ricciardo is a tough, aggressive driver who can get things done. And Lando Norris is only going to get better year after year. I'm excited by this driver lineup and hope it lasts a few years. Maybe even a few successful years. Ferrari. This is a tough one because there are a lot of young Ferrari drivers lining up for a shot in Formula 1. Charles Leclerc will definitely be there. He'll be a champion one day. We still haven't seen the best of him. But whilst the likes of Oscar Piastri and Marcus Armstrong are probably too young to think about Formula 1 in 2022, Callum Eilat has been successful enough in Formula 2 to warrant a Formula 1 drive, and he's a Ferrari test driver for 2021. There is also the likes of Mick Schumacher, who is almost guaranteed a Ferrari drive one day, and Robert Schwartzman, who's also a very competent driver. But I do think Carlos Sainz will be given a second year, and hopefully Ferrari can give him a car to compete with. If not, he may be replaced, but I'm sticking with Leclerc and Sainz in 2022. Red Bull. Again, this partnership deserves a couple of years to see where it goes. Max Verstappen is the most exciting talent on the grid, and Red Bull will do everything they can to keep him. Christian Horner would sell his Spice Girl wife for another two years of Verstappen at Red Bull. And Perez is perfect to back up the Dutchman and pick up vital points for Red Bull that Alexander Albon just couldn't manage. Verstappen can learn from the vastly experienced Sergio Perez, and I think he'll definitely get a second year, unlike at McLaren when he was dumped like last week's milk. Mercedes. And finally Mercedes. Both Valtteri Bottas and Lewis Hamilton were given one year contracts for 2021 but not beyond, meaning technically both seats are up for grabs. But I do think they'll keep Lewis Hamilton for as long as he wants a race seat with the team. And he did want a longer contract so chances are he will be there in 2022. But I hope and pray Valtteri Bottas is replaced by George Russell. Russell deserves that seat at the front and as fans we deserve a title fight for a change. George Russell can do that. He'll tear his hair out if he has to suffer another year at Williams. So for the sake of his scalp, George Russell, Mercedes, 2022. So they are my predictions for the 2022 Formula 1 grid. As I said, some are pretty out there and crazy, but I like to live dangerously. What do you think? Am I well wide of the mark or is there some truth to what I say? What are your predictions? Leave your comments down below and we will once again return to these in a year's time to see how close I was or wasn't. So remember to subscribe, leave a comment, like and share the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.